how to create product catalog on Facebook. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a product catalog into your Facebook page. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is go into Facebook. Now we are on Facebook and you need to sign in into your account obviously. So once you have signed in into your account, you need to set up a page and how we can do that. You're going simply to click on the see more feature right there on the left side menu. Then you're going to drop until you see pages. When you click on pages, you will see here if you have a page, you can go ahead and select it. But if not, you are going to create a page from there. It is very easy to create a page. So all you need to do is to set up the information, the name of the page, the logo, the banner of that page a bio and you're good to go so right here i have three pages i'm going to select one of these pages then we are going to proceed to the work a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses facebook pages accounts are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses keep that in mind and use your own informations so right here we have selected this page so we need to access the business manager of that specific page. But before that, we need to switch to the page to take more action. So we are going to click on switch, switch on that page. And you will see here the um, right there, the transparent uh, options has been cleared and we have the real options. So as you can see, I have set up the page. We have a lot of uh, content. This is only for uh, let's say uh, testing methods and also testing purposes. I'm going to click on Meta Business Suit. So we are going to uh, see here the Meta Business Suit right there. So after you have set or create, clicked on the Meta Business Suit, we are going to visit the settings. Click on settings. And now we have the, uh, the settings of that specific page or that specific business account right there so we are going to drop down right there on this menu into the data sources click on it and here we have a lot of options we have catalogs pixels offline event sets and etc all we need here is the catalogs click on catalogs right there it will load up the catalogs that your page has as you can see, we, I have a lot of catalogs. I have a Shopify product catalogs, some simple items, and etc. If you want to create a, that catalog, you are going simply to click on Add. You can request the access to a catalog. For example, if you are an agency or you are going to give the permission for an agency or another Facebook page or Instagram page. But in our case, we are going to create a new catalog. Click on this plus button. Then it will open up right here a new catalog creation. As you can see, it is an online product or products sold online, obviously. For here, we have a lot of options. You can set a local products or services, a travel or hotels and holidays properties, flights or destinations, real estates, auto, and etc. So you can here get or set the option to connect that catalog to a partner platform for example if i apply that or enable that we have a drop down menu listing right there the different partners for facebook such as shopify these are the big uh, headers or the big titles we have big commerce channel advisor and etc and also woocommerce if you are familiar with these platforms and also has an account uh, with those you can go ahead and set for example Shopify or WooCommerce or something like that Then you are going to set the business portfolio Go ahead and set the business portfolio It will be available right there and name it For example here we have catalog We are going to set it for example testing Testing catalog Catalog like that So here we have it now, all I need to do is to click on next. So right there, it will take me to the next step, which is uh, getting the uh, or connect to tracking. So now we need a pixel 
to uh, track the events uh, for that for our catalog and the products that we are going to set for example here we have a lot of um, uh, pixels i'm going to set one of them all you need to do is to set you can go ahead and set multiple pixels but i highly recommend you to use only the one that you need so when you finish that you are going to click on next then we are going to set the permissions as you can see we have here a uh, the person ruling this uh, specific account we are going to set the partial access for example or the full control this is um, the owner of that page so he has uh, everything set i'm going to click on next and now for the uploading of the product we have a connect to a data feed right there and also we have manually add your products so for the connect to a data feed here you are going to use a spreadsheet or a file to add and update your product automatically for example if you have a shopify uh, right there file or a csv file from shopify or wix uh, website or store you're going to upload that so you can go ahead and click on connect here you are going to set the uh, commerce for example manager or google merchant account this is a um, uh, link to each other you can go ahead and set a url for that or a google sheet right there or you can upload it from your computer and then you're going to set up the uh, files automatically in bulk uh, right here in case that you don't know how you can go ahead and set these files you're going to download a sample so or a template for example i'm going to download a xls file or right there i'm going to open that specific file then we are going to see how the format is set for example we have the id we have the title description availability condition and etc for example for the link the image link the brand and etc these are i think some metadata so you are going to uh, all you need to do right there is to fill up these for example you are going to uh, modify these and then you are going to set everything now for the sizes and the colors for those who will ask how we can add the variants all you need to do is to click on the column of that specific right here uh, as you can see this specific uh, column then you need to separate them with a comma for example l right there comma and s these are the uh, the uh, method to set the colors and also the sizes and for the colors it is uh, the same thing so when you finish that you are going to upload that specific file so now we are going to let you see here uh, how we add uh, that manually products i'm going to click on add product and as you can see here we can add uh, the images and the videos of that specific file we we know we have uh, right here the uh, recommended dimensions uh, of 500 by 500 which is a little square for the images and no more uh, than 200 megabytes for the videos for the videos i think you can go ahead and put it a 500 by 500 or 1280 by 720 i think so right here you are going to set the title you're going to set the description uh also you are going to set the website link you are going to put the price right there for example go ahead and choose the uh, currency for example us dollars i'm going to put a product of 15 dollars then i'm going to set maybe a title a description so we have here uh, the sales price you can go ahead and add a sales price of uh, something more attracting see here we have a 15 so we are going to set the sales price of 9.99 you can go ahead and set a category from there here we have some categories for example electronics beverages foods health home uh, so we are going to set electronics maybe so let's say that we are going to sell maybe uh, computers and tablets the condition you are going to set that here the availability you are going to set it status active the brand content and etc this is in um, uh, here in resume anything or everything that has been set on the uh, template that we have downloaded before but it is a more simplified onto some 
uh, columns and cases when you finish right there everything you are going to click on upload item and then you are going to add the items and accessory for this step so i'm going to click on skip and we are going to be guided to the uh, commerce manager and see our catalog so here we need to add the data source for the products but this is not very important right there i will let you see here the different composition of our catalog as you can see we have the items we have the sets right here uh, if you want to create a set and uh, begin creating the ads we have the data source uh, for the pixels and also the events that are going to happen or are happening in the website for example or for that specific uh, item set and also we have the event uh, right there you are going to set the uh, ads from here you can add a product and create the ad it is the same uh, process from the sets we have a shop also you can go ahead and go to the shop customize the look of your shop to match your brand etc you can go to the shops and create your specific shop from there for example right there we are going to create a shop so go ahead and set your uh, shop location click on next now you are going to set the catalog from there then you can go ahead and set a checkout method on facebook or instagram click on next right there you can go ahead and set the shipping and uh, returns for example right there we are going uh, to set for example uh, free shipping or raw shipping etc go ahead and put these put the shop contact email the business email also the return policy window or the return days here we have the privacy policy and etc when you finish this you are going to create your shop but it is not our subject for today you are free to use that feature that was all for creating the uh, catalog or product catalog Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.